Hello, so I just want to do a quick video about Martha, right? So Martha, right, she's, she's a healer, right? And she also has this ult, but uh, mostly she has these teapot abilities. She puts down this teapot that does a healing, and then she has this one which increases healing on single targets. Um, and she has a self-heal, right? And her ult uh, increases speed, and her artifact buff buffs uh, armor, right? She's okay. Mostly, I think her best role is really just to kind of slow down like Jew teams because she sits in the very back usually, which can make it harder for a Jew to get you. But, right, a lot of times she's, people like to say she's the best healer. I mean, she has the potential for the most healing, but she's really not the best healer. I think she's way overrated. Um, right, it's just like, your know, problem is with the teapot, right, anytime it gets hit with any damage, it breaks instantly, only has one health. Right, and right, all tank heroes, they do point blank AE damage with their basic attack. So, like a hero like Cleaver, who can pull her to the front, or a hero like Luther, who can jump to the back, uh, they can keep her teapot down with just their basic attacks. Um, Aurora, right, she has multiple AE abilities, but most importantly, she's a dodge hero, right, and she can use uh, Kane as her patron, and she essentially just spams AEs all day. Kira's basic attack does AE damage, and that cuts down the teapot. Ginger can cut down a few So there's a lot of counters for Martha. And even if she's not being countered, the teapot comes out pretty slow, right? It sometimes takes almost like 30 seconds before she pulls down the first teapot. And this can make her way too slow to be an effective healer against some of these fast teams. So I do think she's kind of overrated. I mean, she's definitely okay against some teams. I mean, I personally haven't invested a lot in her. Uh, like I said, she, she could be good against Jew teams. Um, and that's probably her best use. Uh, she's okay in like PV and stuff, but um, yeah, no, it's like I see him in arena. I always feel like it just makes the fight easier if I see him in arena. Like this one has a Martha, right? So, and you're gonna see, right? Because I have Kane on Aurora. Aurora gets to use her ult a lot, right? She gets really fast energy generation, right? Three dodges, she gets full energy, so she gets to spam her ult a lot. Right, the teapot comes down, it gets broken instantly from a uh, Aurora ult. Right, and there's just like no, almost no healing happening on the other team. Because she can't keep a teapot down. And like I said, my team kills pretty quick. Right, and then Ju is going to just die from the Cursed Flame right there. Right, and this is kind of why I think the Prophet of Martha is, right? Like there was almost no healing. Pretty much all the healing she did was from her self-heal, right? So this is almost like empty calories. She's not really helping her team get healed. And uh, like I said, she really doesn't offer any utility to the team outside of her healing, right? I mean, so she's pretty weak. Like then this also, like, my Celeste did more healing, did a lot more healing than Martha's wife, like I said. And Celeste was the reason Ju died when he did, right? So this is why I say Celeste is the best healer in the game and Martha's overrated. But, um... Uh, yeah, no, it's like Martha, like I said, she's you're worth having against some teams, like two teams, but she definitely uh, disappoints in a higher metagame, especially, especially against a lot of the popular heroes like Aurora, Cleaver, Luther, Kira, right? Like I said, she just, she's, she's easily countered and, you know, really too slow and doesn't offer a lot of utility. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.